Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be one of my most requested videos. I'm sorry it took this long but I finally got around to filming it and it's going to be a makeup tutorial of this look. So kind of my vampy look with the eyeliner that I do all of the time. Um, I do get a lot of questions both online and in person so if I've referred you to this video I really hope that this helps you um, either discover the makeup that I like and also kind of tell you how I do this look. If you do want to recreate this do tag me on Instagram as I'd love to see. Whether you want to kind of find out about makeup, maybe you're a baby that's starting out and like to practice different makeup looks and follow tutorials then I hope this helps you or if you're just curious and want to see how I do my makeup or as I said if you want to actually give this a go and copy it yourself then I really hope this helps. So if you do enjoy this video, do like it and subscribe and I will get straight on with the tutorial for you. So I have all of my makeup down here. I also have my coffee, always need coffee when I'm doing my makeup. So if you want to see more in detail the kind of products I use, I will link that video in the eye because it goes through like all of my makeup favourites from eyeliner to eyeshadow to foundation. Um, so if you want to see them in more detail and kind of get recommendations for that, that's the video to watch. But this will be more of a tutorial. I will still show the products I use, but yeah, if you want to hear more about them, definitely do go back and watch that video after this one. My mirror is actually like here, so it is always a little bit awkward to film these types of videos, but I've positioned the camera, so hopefully you should be able to see everything. So to start with, I use primer and also do my eyebrows. That's kind of the first few steps that I do. So I do use the Urban Decay Primer Potion best primer out there. So I do just put a little bit of this on like each eyelid and then just blend it in with my finger. Just in case you couldn't see that I literally put about this much on and then blend it. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to actually clip my fringe up for this because otherwise I can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> this is why I don't have a fringe, it would look very strange. Um, but yeah, I am going to do my eyebrows. So I use the e.l.f. Wow Wow Gel and then the NYX Control Freak to kind of set them in place. So I use the e.l.f. one first to kind of fill them in and this is in a black colour so it should make them a bit darker. So that's kind of the comparison. So you can see it adds quite a bit of colour and just kind of takes away that warmth. Also, always have makeup wipes with you just in case <laughs> you mess up. And after that's done, I put the Control Freak brow gel through them. They look a bit crazy right now, but they don't like once I've got the eyeliner on. So next I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. So the two eyeshadow palettes that I mainly use are the Revolution Pro one. Uh, this is called Regeneration and then the Blood Queen palette from Motet's Darm, I think is how you pronounce it. So I'm going to do a red look. I probably said that in my introduction. Um, but I'm going to do like my vampy kind of red eyeshadow look. So I use the shade Ricochet which is this one. It looks very like pink. It's a really nice kind of pinky red color and it's just very like burgundy and vampy. So that's what I will be using. And I do still use these because they are the best at getting like the most amount of color on your eyelid. So I just put this color like all over the lid and a little bit in the crease.
I look really crazy right now but I do try and create like a round shape because it makes it a lot easier to blend I know it's very very rough <laughs> but that's what it looks like at the moment okay so now we're gonna blend that out and the two brushes I use for this are the elf crease brush and then the elf blending brush so I use the crease brush first so the elf crease brush looks like this and the blending brush looks like that so this one's a lot more fluffy so i use this one and i just kind of go in like really tiny circles around the crease and just try and get it as like smooth as possible so if i start on this eye i just kind of like blend in circles and try and blend that out hopefully you can see that Also, one trick that I learned is that if you hold the brush closer to the end of it, um, it's more like pigmented. Whereas if you want to blend it out, it's better to hold it like at the end because you're like applying less pressure. So hopefully that tip helps you if you struggle to blend out eyeshadow like I did. <laughs> And once that's done, I then use this brush and then I blend it out like a lot better. So this is what it looks like at this stage. And then I just go on the very edge and then just kind of blend it out. And I use this like at the very end. So I try and blend it out so it's not so much of a harsh line anymore. So I just kind of keep doing that motion over and over until it's blended. I'll probably like still keep going with it but compared to this eye you can kind of see the difference. <laughs> I've got it to look like this now. Some of you will probably still say it's messy. Um, but I do sometimes like go and kind of blend it out a little bit more when I've got the eyeliner on. Don't worry if this bit's too messy like this around here because the wing covers that and then we actually like take off what's under the wing so it doesn't matter if it's not blended like that amazingly so i then take a makeup wipe any eyeshadow that's like drop down i do just wipe off to make sure that my foundation doesn't turn pink <laughs> and i also like wipe under here to make sure that it doesn't affect the white that i'm going to be putting on later on sometimes i'll leave the eyeshadow like this but today i'm gonna add this red on top so this is from the motets darn palette and this is in the shade countess and it's this really pretty metallic red this one like it's such a pretty color so i do just like use my finger for that to get like as much color on top as possible and even like a swatch of that like you can see just how <laughs> pigmented it is and i just kind of like pat that on the lid i don't go up here because then I have to kind of re-blend it. So I just focus it on the like eyelid. I just kind of like press it on there. It just gives it more of a metallic and more of like a red tone rather than a berry. So hopefully you can kind of see the difference between this eye that has that on and then this eye that doesn't. I don't know why my camera is being weird. So hopefully you can kind of see that. And then I just do the same for the other eye. And I just take this brush and then just quickly go over the blending just to make sure if there's like any of that red topper that's kind of gone more over the eyelid. So I just kind of blend that very quickly to make sure that it all kind of go together. When you're blending though, you don't want to go like anywhere near the eyelid because you'll just kind of take a lot of that metallicness off of it, which you don't really want. And then again, just use a makeup wipe to get rid of any that's kind of dropped down. Last bit of eyeshadow, I use this NYX one. I don't know if you'll be able to find that. It's in the shade Frostbite. They got rid of their single eyeshadows, which is really annoying because I really liked them. But I just used one of these and if you can find like a metallic kind of cool toned colour, it's almost like white but it's got like a frosty blue 
ness to it um so i just put my whatever these are called in there and then i just kind of tap this on the very inner corner and then i use a another brush just to blend this there and there just to like brighten up the inner corner you can tell this look takes a while <laughs> Okay, so next up is eyeliner. I'm going to start with the top line. <laughs> I'm going to use the L'Oreal Tattoo Signature. I mentioned this in that video. I've used it more. I really like it still. So I'm going to just draw a line from here to here and then kind of bring that line down. So hopefully I'll do this and you'll be able to see. My hand might be in the way. <laughs> so I just kind of start it there and then just bring it kind of around. And then I'm going to extend that line and bring it down a little bit to there. So something like this and just try and get them like as equal as possible. And then, and then I'm going to bring this line kind of down. So just kind of like that, bringing it down into more of like a triangle. And I'm going to do the same on the other one. It looks something like this. <laughs> and then I take this line that's kind of stopped there and then kind of join it like that and then once you've practiced this a bit more if you even intend on trying it out but even if you do a wing in general you'll probably know like the area around here of where you want to put it if you put it up that high but I usually put mine around there I would say um so I just kind of draw a mark like that and then join up the line from here to here like that and then I try and do the same on the other eye again I draw a mark and then I check to see if they're even and then I'll join that up so once I have my line then I take this and then kind of drag it back to join up with the top of the eyeliner line And just kind of bring it down like that and then you can see i have two unfilled eyeliner wings so then i just go ahead and fill them in then i brought this line down and then we're going to do the connecting bit. You do usually have to sit with your eyes down or closed for a bit because you don't want the eyeliner like transferring to the top. <laughs> so while that's doing that, I usually kind of tidy up this area of the wing. And I'll also get rid of this eyeshadow, which I was talking about earlier. So I just get a makeup wipe and anything past the eyeliner line, I will get rid of. So next is the line under here that joins it. I use a cold pencil for this just to get a really thick line. And this is the pixie one. So I just kind of draw from here to here, kind of going out a bit. I usually start in the middle. I know it's a weird place to start. But I usually draw a line like this. And then kind of bring it round and connect it to there. I will tidy that up a bit later but it doesn't matter if it's too messy because we are going to neaten it up with a liquid eyeliner in a minute so something like this <laughs> and then we're going to get an eyeliner pen this is the Rimmel London scandalized one love this one too and we're just going to kind of go around the bottom edge and not like the top one yet so that's what we're going to do just like very neatly we're not adding to it we're just kind of like neatening it up <laughs> also kind of joining it onto this line a bit better because you can't go too far up with the cold pencil because of the thickness so for that you just kind of want to join it together 
kind of like that. So yeah, you can see the difference from like neatening it up to not. <laughs> yeah, that's what we've got so far so the next step isn't actually to neaten up the other one it's to put the white in so i'd say this is very important again if you're gonna try and like recreate this look if you do do tag me because i would like to see um but this nyx epic wear eyeliner pen in white is like a must because i've left it like this before without the white and i've looked back at photos and it looks really odd so we're just going to fill in the waterline and then all of this section with the white pencil and this definitely brings the look together <laughs> and as you can see this is a super white eyeliner pen So yeah, and then you get something like this. So instantly that looks more like my makeup. <laughs> so now we're going to neaten up the line that we didn't neaten up before. So like this one. And also go over any lines that the white pencil got on. And again, you just kind of want to get it as neat and symmetrical as you can. So that's what it's looking like and the next step is to finish off these wings neaten anything up and then we are on to mascara so the wings are kind of equal i would say but i do like to bring them up even higher i, I know <laughs> so i just kind of find that line and then just add a little bit extra good thing i have two camera batteries <laughs> So as I was saying, we're just going to find that line and then add a little bit more onto it. Like that. So just kind of really neaten it up, make it a little bit more pointy and a bit higher. This is kind of the end result with the wings. So although you want to get them like, first of all, the same height and the same like going outness you also want to make sure from the side that this line is really smooth because sometimes it can look really good from the front but then this line looks really odd and doesn't match this one so you want to make sure it looks good from all angles <laughs> so next is mascara so i use the maybelline lash sensational one i start with the bottom lashes so i use like this end to do the bottom lashes and it can be quite hard not to coat them all in black <laughs> after filling it in with white. If you do get a lot of black on the white, then you can just go over the white with the eyeliner pencil. And although it is white on black, it does seem to cover it up, which is good. You can see on this eye, I've got like a bit of black that wasn't done on purpose. <laughs> and then if you just like literally put this over the top it does doesn't hide it completely but it does make it a lot less obvious so there's a tip <laughs> okay and now i'm gonna do the top lashes and i just kind of coat them as much as possible because you do want your lashes to kind of go over the eyeliner and the eyeshadow so you want to add as much height to them i feel like this look would be good with fake eyelashes as well i just don't get along with fake eyelashes Point, I just make sure that the eyeshadow kind of joins up with the wing so there's not like a weird gap here last three things now foundation I use the revolution of full coverage foundation it's like a matte one in f0.5 perfect for pale skin I just literally like dot this all over my face <laughs> it's in one of these like squeezy tube ones just gonna clip my hair up for this and see my ears probably never seen them before <laughs> i put this much on great look <laughs> great look to put out on the internet um so then i just take this brush this is the elf ultimate blending brush i start with the forehead i don't put too much on my forehead just because i do have a fringe <laughs> so 
I mainly just put it in the places that you can still see my forehead. So I just kind of blend that in. And as you can see, it blends very quickly. And it is quite a good match for my skin as well. the foundation done next is concealer i use the covergirl one this is an american only brand but the what is it called the l'oreal infallible concealer is very similar if you're in the uk and i just i mainly put concealer like a little bit on my nose just down the middle i put it kind of in three places around my eye so this to kind of cover the any red showing through from the eyeshadow this to hide any of that like darkness down there that honestly there's not too much so just kind of three dots and if i have any spots then i will put concealer on them which i feel that's quite obvious so i do have like one down there but that's all of the concealer that i put on i don't put too much on to be honest and then again i just blend Second to last thing, powder. I just used the NYX HD Finishing Powder. It is white, but it's supposed to be like translucent. And I use the e.l.f. powder brush for that. I just take a little bit because this can like highlight any peach fuzz you have. I don't shave my face, so um don't want to add too much powder. But I mainly put it um, down here in like the T-zone which gets the most oily and then I put some under my eyes just to set that concealer and just like generally all over my face so yeah that's the powder done and the last thing now is lipstick usually I do my lipstick actually after I do my hair but recently I have been putting this on before just so while my makeup wipes out and I can like touch up anything that I mess up. Won't come to a surprise but I use the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick for this look. This is in the shade 50 Voyager. It's my favourite red shade. Um, it's just the perfect like vampy deep red. And if you do have more of a skin tone that's pale or on like the pink side. Which is definitely what I have like my hands are super pink. Then this doesn't look weird. I've had red lipsticks that shift orange and they look really like odd and not right. So this is a really good colour for that and it matches this look perfectly. So we're just going to apply that. I can take my hair down now. I always feel like sometimes with lipstick, I'll put it on perfectly first time and like not need to touch it up. And then other times, just constantly taking it off with makeup wipes. And we are done. <laughs> so yeah, this is the finished look. Obviously it doesn't look complete because my hair is shocking. So I will show you like the finished look when all like my hair's done and my jewellery's on um so yeah i will show you that next so this is the finished look with my hair done i feel like when i have like the makeup the hair and the jewellery it all kind of pulls the look together so this is the makeup that i showed you how to do um i'll just give you a very awkward close-up of the makeup So yeah, and my hair is all done, so I'm looking a lot more like myself. I hope this helped you. I haven't watched the footage back yet, so I really hope everything was in focus. I hope you could see most of what I was doing. Yeah, I'm not a makeup artist, but I do get a lot of questions about how I do my makeup, and I feel like I've mastered this look because I've done it for probably like five years now. So I've spent a lot of time like practicing this look and getting it to a point that I really, really like. Remember to tag me in your looks if you try out this makeup look also let me know in the comments if you'd like an updated hair tutorial i do it very much the same as my original one but i just feel like they're very old videos now so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see an updated hair tutorial but i do hope you enjoyed this video do like and subscribe if you did and i will hopefully see you in my next video bye